everybody, I'm Millicent, and we're reading The Ugly Duckly by, by Hans Christian Andersen, done by Choppy Trading Company Productions and Alter New Media, part one. The Ugly Duckling by Hans Christian Andersen. It was lovely summer weather in the country and the golden corn, the green oats and the haystacks piled up in the meadows looked beautiful. The stork walking about on his long red legs chattered in the Egyptian language which he had learned from his mother. The cornfields and meadows were surrounded by large forests, in the midst of which were deep pools. It was indeed delightful to walk about in the country. In a sunny spot stood a pleasant old farmhouse, close by a deep river, and from the house down to the waterside grew great burdock leaves, so high that under the tallest of them a little child could stand upright. Wow, Heidi, that's, that's tall. I know. Wow, what happens next? Let's read. Okay. So, the spot was as wild as the center of a thick wood. In this snug retreat sat a duck on her nest, watching for her young brood to hatch. She was beginning to get tired of her task, for the little ones were a long time coming out of their shells and she seldom had any visitors. The other ducks liked much better to swim about in the river than to climb the slippery banks and sit under a burdock leaf to have a gossip with her. At length, one shell cracked and then another, and from each egg came a living creature that lifted its head and cried, Peep! Peep! <laughs> quack! Quack! said the mother, and then they all quacked as well as they could. Quack, 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 quack. And looked about them on every side at the large green leaves. Well, their mother allowed them to look as much as they liked because green is good for the eyes. How large the world is, said the young ducks, when they found how much more room they now had than while they were inside the eggshell. That's for sure. Oh, boy. I know. Well, let's see what happens next. Okay. Do you imagine this is the whole world? Asked the mother. Wait till you have seen the garden. It stretches far beyond to that parson's field. But I have never ventured to such a distance. Are you all out? She continued, rising. No, I declare, the largest egg lies there still. I wonder how long this is to last, because I am quite tired of it. And she seated herself again on the nest. Well, how are you getting on? asked an old duck, who paid her a visit. One egg is not hatched yet, said the duck. It will not break. But just look at all the others. Are they not the prettiest little ducklings you ever saw? They are the image of their father, who is so unkind. He never comes to see. Well, hmm, let me see the egg that will not break, said the duck. I have no doubt it is a turkey egg. Well, yes, I was persuaded to hatch some once, and after all my care and trouble with the young ones, they were afraid of the water. <laughs> I quacked and clucked, but all to no purpose. I could not get them to venture in. Let me, let me just go and look at the egg. Hmm. Yes, that is a turkey's egg. <laughs> Take my advice. Leave it where it is and teach the other children to swim. <laughs> well, said the mother, I, I think I will sit on it a little while longer, said the duck. 
as I have sat so long already, the few days will be nothing. Well, please yourself, said the old duck as she waddled away. Well, at last the large egg broke and a young one crept forth crying, peep, peep, <laughs> yay! I know, it took a lot, but it was very large and ugly. Oh no, yes, the duck stared at it and exclaimed, oh, it is very large and not at all like the others. I wonder if it really is a turkey. We shall soon find out. However, when we go to the water, it must go in if I have to push it myself. Hi everybody, I'm Heidi and this is my friend and partner in crime, Melisant. Hey everybody. So, we are welcoming you here to Read to Me Heidi. Yay! And we are going to be reading from many exciting stories and fairy tales over the course of this show. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode, okay? Yay! Okay, let's go! Thanks, guys. <laughs> 